The continuous search for oil and gas in open seas calls for drilling units capable of working in all weather conditions, and what's even more important, in ever greater water depths. This led to the IHC Holland design of dynamically positioned drill ships. The design was based upon the requirements for worldwide operation, and the results obtained have proven the operating capabilities of this special type of drill ship. Built so far were the Pelican, Havdrill, now named Canmar Explorer 3, the Petrel, Pelerin, Ben Ocean Lancer, and Pac Norse 1. Let's pay a visit to the Pelican and have a closer look at the setup of an IHC DP drill ship itself. Two thrusters and two propellers are located aft, while three further thrusters are placed in the bow. The variable pitch thrusters are each driven by a 1750 horsepower electric motor. The main switchboard is located aft. Immediately above it are the five diesel generators. The forward part of the ship is devoted to the crew's quarters. Particular care was given to the fitting out of these quarters since they had to be a home for a 90-man crew. Navigational equipment is located on the bridge. The mechanical equipment of a modern drill ship is grouped conveniently around the moon pools, the mud pumps, the mixers and the cement units. Above these are the hoppers and containers for the additives and pulverulent products and a well-equipped mud laboratory. Alongside the moon pool are installed the barite and cement silos. The storage facilities and fuel reserves enable the ship to remain in operation for up to three months without logistics. On the cellar desk level, aft to the moon pool, there is a deep diving installation. And forward to the moon pool, the blowout preventers are stored. A BOP system of 10,000 tons PSI or more and up to 200 tons of weight is moved by means of hydraulically operated carriages. The main hold and its two tween decks are set aside for the storage and mechanical handling of the drill and casing pipes. On main deck level, sufficient storage of casing pipe and marine riser is provided. The DP system enables the ship to remain accurately in position over the hole in all weather conditions without being permanently anchored to the seabed. By the action of wind, current and waves, the ship would be constantly moved away from the required position. By using variable pitch thrusters, it is possible to limit drift to less than 6% of the water depth. By intelligent adjustment of the pitch, the thrust exerted may be calculated to compensate for the effects of wind and current. So every time it drifts, the ship is returned to its working position over the hole. The action of the thrusters also makes it possible to modify the ship's heading so as to minimize the influence of wind and current. Backward and forward drift, in relation to the hull, is compensated for by varying the pitch of the main propellers. The DP system can be operated in a fully automatic mode, a semi-automatic mode by means of a joystick, or a manual mode. The actual pitch setting is indicated to provide a visual check on the required thrust. With the aid of the thrusters, the drill ship can be kept accurately in position during the drilling operations. To measure the horizontal offset of the ship to the wellhead, an acoustic positioning reference system is used. Here's how it works. A beacon on the seabed is activated by interrogation from the ship and transmits a pulse which is picked up by a number of hydrophones installed below the ship's bottom. The pulse transmitted to the hydrophone has a 25 kilocycle frequency lasting 2 milliseconds. The beacon is located on an extended arm connected to the base plate.
the vertical distance between beacon and hydrophones and the difference in time of arrival of the signals at the hydrophones enables the horizontal offset of the vessel to be calculated. The acoustic signals are converted into position data by sophisticated electronic equipment. Computers calculate the drift away from the required position and convert these data into orders to correct the pitch of the thrusters and propellers. This process is repeated continuously at short intervals during drilling. The ship is thus maintained accurately over the well, allowing smooth and continuous drilling operations. All hardware and controls of the DP system are situated on the bridge, from where a visual check on the performance of the system is done. For this purpose, displays are provided indicating the horizontal offset of the ship to the wellhead. On the screens, the moving dot shows the ship's drift away from its position over the hole. The positioning signal of the taut wire inclinometer appears on the screen as a cross. As a backup system, one or two taut wire reference systems are installed. A counterbalance weight compensates the vertical motions of the ship. The taut wire inclinometer features a biaxial pendulum in an oil-filled bottle. The computers calculate the horizontal displacement of the vessel to the reference point with the aid of the measured inclinometer angles and related water depth. The top display indicates the offset of the vessel to the vertical through the center of the riser. The offset is calculated by the computers by values of the angles formed between riser and vertical. Inclinometers are attached to the riser near the bottom ball joint. For efficient drilling and to prevent buckling, it is vital to maintain a constant tension on the riser pipe which links the wellhead and the vessel. The removal of mud at the outside of the telescoping joint by water is necessary to perform a smooth operation. The riser is connected to the riser tensioner units through cables. The tension is provided by riser tensioners developed by IHC which keep the tension constant by taking up and paying out the lines as the ship rises and falls on the swell. To eliminate unwanted up and down movement of the drill string, an IHC heave compensator is installed between derrick and crown block. In two hydraulic rams, the hook load is converted into hydraulic pressure. The crown block is connected to the rams by means of a frame. A Unicode converter maintains the hydraulic pressure at an almost constant level. During operation, the force exerted by the hydraulic rams serves to adjust the weight on the drill bit. A vertical racking system is installed in the derrick to provide a smooth and fast transport of triples of drill pipe during round trip. The system is fully automated. Three carriages installed in the derrick are equipped with a retractable arm, at the end of which, derrick inwards, a rack ahead is connected to catch the pipe. The total storage capacity in the derrick is 250 tons of drill pipe and casing pipe. The bottom of the pipe stands is slotted in a structure on the drill floor. The 
the top of the pipe stands are locked by hydraulically operated fingers transversely placed on the beams of the racks. Means of transport are important for a smooth and continuous drilling operation. Drill pipes and casing pipes stored horizontally on the main deck and in the holds are transported to the drill floor by means of a chain operated lorry. The seating on the forward part of the ram can be adapted to the diameter of casing and drill pipe. In the meantime, action takes place on the drill floor. Manpower, together with modern, sophisticated control equipment, permits a continuous drilling operation in the most economical way. The handling of pipe material has been given a high priority in the setup of the design as it is to a great extent the basis for an uninterrupted drilling process. center of all drilling activities on the drill floor is favorably housed in the drill master's cabin. This cabin accommodates controls for, among others, drilling equipment and DC motors, drilling measurement and manifolds, riser tensioners and heave compensator, BOP and well control valves, ship's dynamic positioning and underwater TV. The mud mixing procedure, as well as the supply of dry material, is supported and controlled from a well-equipped mud laboratory. The mud pumps are located as closely as possible to the mud tanks. Recycling of the mud takes place on the active mud tanks. A fully equipped geological laboratory for research of the active mud is installed in the vicinity. In an emergency, the lower riser package can be disconnected from the BOP on the seabed by means of hydraulically operated locks in less than half a minute. Commands are given from on board. The BOP units are without guidelines, reducing the connection of the ship to the seabed to a minute. Lower riser package therefore has no link with the BOP on the sea floor during the connecting procedure. When disconnected, the ship is free to sail off location. The connection procedure is controlled by the diving bell and TV cameras. The controls of the BOP are of the electrohydraulic multiplex type. The main control desks are situated in the drill master's cabin. Auxiliary control desks are located in the accommodation far outside the dangerous area. An extensive diving installation for great water depths has been installed. Specially designed manipulators are attached to the diving bell for the execution of maintenance on the BOP in even greater water depths. Cameras connected to the bell may clarify the deep sea problems to the people on board. While observation diving goes down to 1200 meters, saturated diving cannot exceed 300 meter water depth. However, for saturated swing, large decompression chambers are installed with all necessary equipment. 
diving bell can be easily connected and the divers may enter their rooms under deep sea pressure. Okay. Est-ce que votre porte est ouverte? Bon, passez dans As the bit bites deeper and deeper into the ocean floor, sophisticated machines silently watch and monitor the intricate equipment which keeps the ship precisely over the wellhead. Delicate interplay of man and machine produces maximum results with a minimum of human invention. Worldwide operations have been the goal of the dynamically positioned drill ships of IHC Holland. So far, five ships have been constructed and they've shown their worldwide capability by drilling in many areas of the world, among others offshore Angola and Morocco, in the Mediterranean and the North Sea, and offshore Greenland and Labrador. Self-sufficiency for drilling operations of more than 150 days and the transit speed of 13 knots have also highly contributed to the success of the design. The increasing world demand for oil and gas has led to exploration activities offshore in deeper and deeper water. The first DP drill ship, Pelican, was capable of drilling in 300 meters of water depth. Later ships could drill in water depths of up to 1,200 meters. If required, even greater depths can be achieved from a technical and operational point of view. Dynamically positioned drill ships have drilled wells all over the world and have tested the exploited oil and gas on the site. DP drill ships, designed and built by IHC Holland.